Welcome, everybody. Joe with ECRM here, and I have with me today Gail Young, who is the category manager for OTC over at Giant Eagle. And today we're going to talk about how she addressed a COVID related supply chain issue with a brand that she met at our healthcare program. So, Gail, thank you so much for joining us. And to start off, can you give us uh, a little background on Giant Eagle and your role there? Yeah, absolutely. So Giant Eagle is a supermarket that's been in business for you know quite some time. We pride ourselves of being a good neighbor and a good partner to everyone in our communities. We have over 200 stores and it's concentrated in Pennsylvania, Ohio, Maryland, West Virginia, and one out in Indiana. So that is kind of the, the quickest flip of Giant Eagle. Giant Eagle, though, since we care about our partners and we love to be a member of the community, you know, sustainability and diversity is something that's really important to us. So ECRM has been really helpful helping us dig those guys out. And for me, as my role, I'm the category manager of over-the-counter health. So if you don't feel good, you come down to my aisle. And that's how I really got into ECRM. You were my first of my trade shows, especially with everything going virtual, because I started in August of last year in this particular role. Excellent. And uh, well, so you started August of last year. So you had right in the middle of COVID. So and, and I know that for everybody, the pandemic caused supply chain challenges. And, and what did you face in your category as far as that goes? Yeah, so supply chain challenges is a big one. Like you said, we had our normal suppliers that, you know, for reasons, whether it's, you know, warehouse shutdowns or trucking, we just couldn't get a regular supply. So it's forced us to go look for those third suppliers. And that's where I started getting into ECRM, trying to find, you know, the masks and the gloves and all that fun mm -hmm. stuff. And then it, as we tried to get back to normal, you know, whatever normal is at this point, we started to be like, okay, now that we have our base of what we need, you know, what are my holes, what suppliers are still having trouble, you know, a year later, or what diversity, you know, or innovation holes that we've ignored for the year was out there. So when uh, you had one in particular with, uh, I think it was the, the uh, um, poison ivy salve. Yeah. So talk a little bit about that. Yeah, so it actually came out to be really good timing for me. So we had the healthy serum coming in, and I knew with this one provider I had supply was looking a little shaky. They weren't real sure. So I was like, you know, it makes sense. I need to look for an IV product. So I'm going through ECRM, and I, I met Jody through Green Goo a couple of shows ago, and I kind of remember her because she's. I mean, she's great. She's really fun to talk to. She's really personable. So she kind of stuck out in my mind as, you know, a buyer going through this. And then when I went to the health one and that's when I was really like, oh, no, I, I'm going to have a hole. And that's such a niche product that you, you can't not have it. Mm -hmm. So I remembered her and I was like, you know what? You like, I really, I really like you. I like your product. It comes in a fun little tin and it's women owned. So it kind of checked off all the boxes. Mm -hmm. And so we met through UCRM and I got her set up through our process and her team's super organized. It was actually pretty seamless. And I, I loved it because those meetings, those 10 minute meetings are perfect because it gets right down to what you need to talk about. There's not a lot of fluff. It just gets to the meat and it really was like, I have a need for this. I'm going to have a hole and you have the product I need. So that's how we got linked up together. And what about the meeting itself? How did, um, what was it about their presentation or the product? Uh, I, I know you mentioned the, the uh, supply diversity aspect, but how, how is, did your meeting go with them? The, the meeting was, it was super fun. Like I said, Judy, Jody is so much fun to talk to. Mm -hmm. And she had everything I needed. She had just like one slide on who she is, you know, what her company is and kind of laid that piece out. Then she had a slide on the data and then it went straight into what the products were. So she didn't spend a lot of time with that. You want to hear the story, but you also got to hear what these products are. So she left me a lot of time to talk actually about her products and mm -hmm. how it's been doing. It was in CVS first and we got to talk about, you know, some learning she had from that. And it sounded like she was a really good fit for Giant Eagle. So I like that she had a small deck. It was less than 10 slides, I think, and it gave us a lot of time to talk. I always wonder, you know, what it is from the buyer perspective, 
what it is about the supplier presentation that kind of grabs their attention. So, you know, brief on the slides, room for Q&A, really get to the point. You could always find out about the origin story later on offline uh, after the meeting. Yeah, and she definitely, she got it. I mean, she had that experience of being in CVS. She knew, you know, what I was going to look for for sales. What was the selling point? What were the price points? And all that good stuff. She knew those common, I would call retailer questions. So she knocked it, all this information out really early and it just made it super easy for me. Great. Now, did you test them out first? So we actually didn't. So she had the product, you know, she sent me samples. I took a look at it. Thankfully, I didn't get poison ivy. So I, I didn't have yeah. to test it for real. <laughs> but I got to, you know, kind of feel what the product was and how it worked out. And I, I knew that that hole was coming up really fast. So I just made the switch right away. And how has it worked so far? It's done great. It's only been out for six weeks. We have about 10% of our stores reporting so far, and it's, it keeps growing week after week. And that gives me a lot of confidence because we haven't had any ads on it yet or any sales. So this is just natural adoption just on the shelf. Of course, you get a new tag when you, you know, we do a reset. So she did get that. But, you know, we have our shoppers that are responding in the data. That's great. And, and uh, just as important is she has the supply. She's got yeah. it for you. And because that's, you know, and a lot of times it's not even, it's not their fault. I mean, it's things that are no. happening way up the supply chain with their suppliers. That's kind of jamming things up. So it's good to have uh, another source of supply. Yeah, I, I like to call it whack-a-mole this year. It's like once one vendor gets one issue resolved, something else happens. And, mm -hmm. you know, we were feeling really good about cases and now Delta variants coming up and that's, you know, giving a whole nother aspect of supply. And Green Goo has been really steady, which has been great. Plus it's got a really cool name too. It does. And the packaging is really cute. It's, it's definitely, it's fresh and it's vibrant and it sticks out. It's green, which is nice. You would think like poison ivy, other stuff would be green, but they're not. Mm -hmm. So it just had some smart packaging to go with everything. Very cool. So now, what is your experience like with ECRM? Right, you've been, you've been, you've come to a few of our sessions already. Uh, tell us about your experience, just the process and working with our teams, uh, getting you set up and and uh, up to speed on the technology and all that. Yeah, so I, I really like it. It makes my life really easy because there's you, know, there's you and there's Melissa and there's Christina that the personnel itself is just, you guys are super responsive and you're there. So any questions, you're like, here, I'll show you how or they'll you know, figure out some kind of solution. So having your support makes it really easy to then go through the platform and you're able to see the vendors that are there on your list and you can say accept or deny I try to give them a good reason, you know, if I, I can't meet with them. What is helpful also is Range Me is attached to it. So then you can see their product. So, if, you know, any you know vendors that are listening to this, please fill out your Range Me because it saves me a lot of time. Then going out to your website and doing a lot of digging, kind of, that makes it kind of harder to figure out then what are you really, you know, joining the show for. So the platform, just kind of figuring out who they are, what their products is all right there and housed in this nice little package. And then the meetings themselves are really nice because it's like either you're done or you're not and it moves you on. So I think it really helps focus people to what the heart of the matter is. And I, I like that it's kind of it's kind of cruel sometimes. Like if you're in mid sentence, you're like, oh, no, bye. But like I like that it really forces you to focus on it. From a buyer's perspective, just virtual in general, right? The capability of doing these meetings virtually, how does that impact you just, you know, from your day to day as far as, as, far as efficiency and, uh, and time savings? I like it because I feel like I get to meet with more vendors than I normally would have because I have more time in the day to kind of fit through. But it's also not disruptive on my work because once I'm done with the meeting or if I have a gap, I can go back to whatever I was doing before. So I like that I can seamlessly do a trade show, but still get my work done at the same time. Mm -hmm. Do you think this is virtual is going to play a part 
uh, more of a part in your everyday uh, uh, role just moving forward, even after the pandemic's done? Absolutely, because that small vendor part I was kind of like alluding to before, mm -hmm. it allows me to see and meet with more people than I normally can. So I'll do, you know, a quick 10 minute meeting here and there. I've actually kind of taken the ECRM like 10 minute platform and I'm like, I can meet with you for 10 minutes, figure out who you are. And if there's more information, we can handle it like another meeting or an email. But it definitely helps me see more people than I, I normally would. So you've been setting up your own ECRM style meetings just with vendors uh, outside of our uh, programs. Absolutely. And it, it's nice. Those 10 minute meetings, it definitely is the right amount of time to get to what you need to know mm -hmm. without, you know, wasting too much time where maybe someone might add a little bit of fluff, you know, my side or their side. It helps you get through more, more, uh, more exposure to more brands quickly. Do, do you think that... Um, for new vendors, right? ECRM Connect or even outside of Connect on your own, uh, are you going to be doing more or all of your first meetings with a new vendor virtually? I think it should be all virtual. I, I like it because I also want to be aware of their time and their resources. So if they're a new vendor and I don't know anything about them, I feel really awful having them, you know, come to me physically where I'm at. Mm -hmm. And then be like, oh, you know, it, for whatever reason, it didn't work out. I just feel like it's not kind to their time and their resources. Excellent. Yeah, it, it just makes so much sense because it's easier to get that first initial look. And then, you know, later on down the road, if you think there's a fit, well, then you could do the in-person uh, once, you know, everything opens up a little bit. Yeah, and we have our video cameras too. And so you, you get to see my face, you know, good or bad, however I'm reacting, you get to see it. So I feel like I'm not losing out on that. You know, how are they taking it? How are they thinking, trying to read the room kind of bit of it? Yeah, I think the, you know, and the technologies comes along so much uh, video wise that you can pretty much get that in-person experience or at least very close to it. Like you just said, you could see the expressions. You could see how they're reacting. You know, they can hold the product or they can share slides, things like that. So you're pretty much getting the whole experience and you're just saving so much time on both sides. Yeah. And vendors are really good. You know, the ones that I, I do talk to on the regular, they'll send their whatever samples they want me to look at before. So they'd be like, hey, you know, pull it out while you're looking at it. For new vendors in ECRM, I tend to ask for it after because I don't mm -hmm. want them to have to send out all these samples until I've had a, a good chance to really dig through it, mm -hmm. which is another good part about ECRM where I can say, follow up with me in you know, a one to two weeks or four weeks, and then please send me samples. I like that it has that at the end mm -hmm. where I can kind of give them direction to where I'm thinking. Yep. Do you use uh, all the other functions like the notes and uh, the ratings? I use the ratings, so I actually I keep an Excel format for my notes and things, so I, I have that. But the ratings so helpful because after you know three four days, you're like, oh, I don't really remember my initial reaction. So I do use that that star rating, and then it helps me be like, oh, I really like this person, or I'll do like a three star if I'm like middle of the road. So mm -hmm. it really helps me group them and categorize them quickly. Excellent. Well, final question. What would be like your top advice to suppliers getting ready to meet with you? What would you, your recommendations be as far as prepping for a meeting with you? Yeah, so definitely it starts from the very beginning. Fill out your range meet. Put your products that you're doing the show in because that gives me an idea of what are you even going to talk to me about. So that helps me if I'm even going to take the meeting for sure. And then when it comes to meeting with me, I would say 10 slides or less is perfect. You know, give me a quick slide on who you are. Give me, you know, a slide of, you know, what you're, what you're doing, what your marketing is going to be. And like, let's jump straight into these products and really tell me why they're a good fit, why they're doing well. Back it up with data. If you're in other retailers, here's the success that they've seen in general. And, you know, let's really get to the meat of it quick. 
Well, thank you so much. Uh, I wish you the best of luck with Green Goo and congratulations again on your success with them. And I look forward to seeing you at upcoming programs. Thank you. I am definitely excited to talk to you again and, you know, tell you more about Green Goo and other people I've taken on. Thank you for making it easy on us. Oh, our pleasure. Thanks again.